Hey, Riverwood Church, Happy New Year again. Hey, I wanted to uh, share with you a quick insight that I picked up this morning as I was reading in Genesis chapter 17. You know, uh, God comes along to Abraham when he's in his ripe old age of 99 and lets him know that his wife, his barren wife, Sarah, was going to give uh, birth to a son. Abraham's response was to laugh and to ask God just to bless Ishmael instead, Ishmael being the son of Hagar, the the slave woman that um, that was given to him by his wife to conceive uh, uh, some offspring. And I, I just was so struck by that, is that even the father of faith, even the, the one who it was entrusted with the great promises of God, even he couldn't believe this very, very great promise that his wife, in her old age, is, was going to give birth to his own son. And it just is a reminder to me that God's plans are, are so much bigger than we might expect. And, and we often, like Abraham, asking God just to bless Ishmael, we often just like say, look, just, just give me my little thing. We settle for the lesser. So as we enter into 2022, don't settle for lesser. Trust God in the big things. And I believe that he's got some great stuff in store, in store for Riverwood Church. Stuff that we can't even conceive of right now. We might be saying, just bless Ishmael. Just bless the little thing that we have. And he will certainly do that. But he wants to do so much more. So I want to leave you with that encouraging thought. He wants to do so much more in your life. We just need to trust his word. And in speaking of his word, we're going to be diving back in again In the sermon series, The Word Became Flesh, we're looking at the Gospel of John. We're going to be covering chapter 2 and 3 this weekend. So read ahead, look for that, and I'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday. I know it's going to be cold, but uh, we've got some warm fellowship brewing, and uh, I think we'll have a great time. So see you then.